Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're looking for some simple and quick ways to earn lots of cash fast in GTA Online, then you're in luck because today on the show, we'll be discussing the most effortless and expeditious ways to earn money for solo players in the game following Rockstar's most recent update. There's several awesome changes and payouts that I believe players will appreciate, and this video will serve as your comprehensive solo money guide for GTA Online this week. And so as we get started, if you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, then let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything GTA Online and Rockstar games, then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So jumping into all of our money bonuses this week, we have double money and RP on all biker cell missions, double money and RP on the motorcycle club work and challenges, double money and RP on the MC clubhouse contracts, and double money and RP on the inch by inch adversary mode, followed by 1.5 times money and RP on acid lab cell missions, two times production rates for all of your biker MC businesses, and two times supplies on your biker resupply missions. So you're getting double supplies when you decide to steal them. Now this is an absolutely huge week for players to make millions of dollars fast, easy, and solo because of these rare MC business bonuses. While the cell missions are double money, you're also filling up your stock to the max capacity twice as fast with the double production bonus, meaning you're doing two times the amount of sale missions in the same amount of time it used to take you to do one sale. So with these two distinct bonuses combined, it's essentially the same thing as this entire business and all of your MC Clubhouse businesses being four times money, as long as you're doing those extra sales and you continue to do them. Now, while this video will give you a step-by-step -step guide on exactly what to do this week and the order of these activities to make money at the absolute fastest rate, let's break down some of the profit numbers for our MC businesses, as well the profits for the 50% extra money that you're going to be earning from each Acid Lab sale. So starting off with our Coca-Cola lockup, you're making $1 million, basically flat. For the Math Lab, you're getting $856,800. For the Counterfeit Cash Factory, you're getting $705,600. For the farm, you're getting $604,800. The document forgery office, you're going to be making $302,400. And the acid lab will accrue $502,800 for a grand total of $3,980,400. Basically just selling all of these businesses once at max product capacity. Now, assuming that you're buying supplies for $75,000 a pop, and you have both the staff and equipment upgrades for all your MC businesses here, and your equipment upgrade for the Acid Lab, this breaks down to the following values when we're trying to calculate how much money per hour these businesses are making you in GTA Online. For Coca-Cola, it's $328,000 an hour. For math, it's $225,000 an hour. For counterfeit cash, it's $208,000 per hour. For the grass farm, it's $181,000 per hour. For the document forgery office, it's $141,000 per hour. And the acid lab is gonna make you about $90,000 per hour for a total grand per hour rate of $1,174,250 per hour with a combination of farming all of these businesses. Now this total value of almost $1.2 million per hour is just based off the businesses alone, assuming you're resupplying efficiently and leaving minimal time between when you run out of supplies and then when you get your business producing again and running your sell missions for these businesses when they fill up. Now obviously if you're selling at max stock, you either want friends to join you or just keep attempting different sale missions until you get when an easy one that can be done solo, for example, just avoiding the annoying post-op van sell missions. But while each of these bonuses can take several hours to produce all this product so you can make all this money, what should players do in the meantime? The obvious answer would be to do Cayo Perico, which I recommend you do if you have the Kasatka submarine and you want to, but there's one more money bonus this week that will make things so much more fun and diverse for your solo money grind, and that is playing the MC Clubhouse contract missions, as those are double money as well. Now, while you can play anyone you want and earn decent money with these double bonuses, the one I absolutely recommend you target is the Love and Death Bikes mission. In this mission, Malk tasks the player to break into a bike maker's house and steal a weaponized bike, which a rival gang is planning to buy. And the player has 30 minutes to complete this mission, and they have to deal with armed IAA agents patrolling outside of the house and either go in by stealth or by loud assault. And once inside, you must locate an elevator down to the garage workshop where they will eliminate the armed builder and other agents and then steal that apocalypse death bike. 
and the player will then be chased by waves of IAA agent enemies on the way to the meeting location where they need to eliminate rival gang members and their vehicles by any means possible. I just explode them with RPGs. And by the end of this mission, you're gonna earn $74,000. And depending on the spawn locations of the meetup, variants of these missions can take anywhere from three minutes at their absolute shortest if you have good spawn locations, all the way up to about eight minutes. And so all you need to do is if you go to your clubhouse job board and the Love and Death Bikes contract is not available, simply change your spawn location to your MC clubhouse and keep loading into a new session until the Love and Death Bikes contract is available. And if you'd like to replay this back to back all day, you could certainly do that just by loading into a new session until that contract pops back up again. In addition to that, you can farm other activities like payphone hits, for example, as those are still really good money-making methods, whether it's on bonus or not, and it's usually my recommendation for a constant grinding activity for players to do while they utilize other various money bonuses in the game. So let's say you just logged into GTA Online for the day, start off by making sure all of your MC businesses are resupplied, and that's where the Master Control Terminal comes in handy because you can buy supplies without actually visiting each business. Start there, complete a Cayo Perico heist after that if you like, or just simply jump into a payphone hit and while that is on its 20 minute cooldown farm a few of the love and death bike contracts until it's time to do another payphone hit and rinse and repeat that until your businesses need to be re resupplied again and or your product needs to be sold so when you implement all of these money making methods and money grinding loops into your gameplay you're going to be making millions of dollars this week fast easy and solo but moving on i want to talk about a couple other money making methods that you can do first we have our time trial this week which is pillbox hill i recommend to use a fast bike like the Western Power Surge, the Shataro, the Bati 801, or the Hakuchu Drag, or a fast car like the Pariah or the Krieger for this time trial. If you beat this time trial in less than 2 minutes and 16 seconds, you will earn an easy $101,000. Then we have our RC Bandito time trial this week, which is Vespucci Canals. If you're careful along those tight corners and you avoid flipping your RC Bandito and you watch out for all the bumps and curbs and cars, then you can complete this time trial in less than 1 minute and 53 seconds, and you'll get paid a nice $101,000. And then if you guys are on next gen we also have the hsw time trial for this week where if you use the either hsw hakuchu drag or the hsw coil cyclone 2 and you complete that hsw time trial within the part time this week you'll get paid a nice two hundred and fifty one thousand dollars as well and so with all that said those were all the best and fastest methods of farming gta online money this week basically outside of your usual day-to-day -day businesses grind implementing all the money bonus methods and so if this video helped you out hopefully you all enjoyed the video today and if you did hopefully i earned your like on it of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best GTA Online, Red Dead Online, and Rockstar Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on so that you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at Hazardous. HDTV and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next GTA online video. Adios amigos.